I'm Dr. Steven Finkel from Stanford School of Regional Anesthesia. In this video, we're going to look at how we do anterior sciatic nerve blocks at the Stanford Hospital. This is an excellent block that we often use in conjunction with a femoral nerve block when trying to provide anesthesia and analgesia to total knee uh, surgery patients. One of the benefits of approaching the sciatic nerve from the anterior side versus doing, say, a popliteal nerve block is that the patient can remain in supine position and thus you can do your femoral nerve block with catheter as well as uh, the anterior approach to the sciatic with the patient in the same position. Um, it also is unique in that it is the only block in which we use a very long needle, 150 millimeter needle, and it's the only block that we currently utilize the curved linear probe for because oftentimes the, the sciatic nerve is reached after 8, 9, 10 uh, centimeter and the traditional probes are uh, frankly not designed and cannot give you a uh, view on that depth. Okay, so for anterior sciatic nerve block, we have the patient lying in supine position. We're going to confirm our probe position so that we know what is lateral and what's medial. Okay, in this instance, <clears throat> the right side of the screen that you see here is going to be lateral, and the left side of the screen is going to be medial. And I start by placing my probe down on top of femur about mid-thigh. There are three main structures when doing this block that you need to identify to have a quick, easy, safe, and successful block. Now the first is the femur. This is very easy. It's sitting right here. Uh, it's very prominent and is almost always very easy to see. Medially, what we're looking for and we're interested in are the femoral vessels. And sometimes, if we add our color Doppler flow, it can help us identify these structures here. Now, having identified the femoral vessels and the femur, we know that the sciatic nerve sits basically at the third point of a triangle with the femur and the femoral vessels. And we're looking for it right in this region to complete our triangle. I'm gently going to slide my probe a little more medial and I'm going to slide my probe a little bit more on both sides and you can see how when I do that the femoral nerve, the sciatic nerve I believe comes into picture here right here so what I'm interested in doing is sometimes I will do this block out of plane with the probe because I know that I need to come straight down and provide local anesthetic around it. It's difficult to get to this nerve coming in plane because you're either going to be coming lateral to medial and the femur obstructs the angle and thus your needle will often head off in this direction and conversely coming medial to lateral you can hit the femoral vessels or hit femur. So what I'll often do is maximize my view get where I feel the nerve is going to be, and in this instance it looks like it may be right here, and come right out of plane here using a nerve stimulator. I'm also going to make note of how deep I think this roughly is. On the setting on this screen, we are at about 11 centimeter. This is sitting at about 6. After confirming that I have the proper nerve by nerve stimulation, I'll inject local anesthetic around the nerve. For this nerve block, we use 30 cc's of local anesthetic. Usually, we'll inject half percent ropivacaine. However, on occasion, we will use quarter percent marcaine for this block. The structures to avoid, obviously, are the femoral vessels, which is why it's one of the two structures that I want to identify before I will place my needle. Okay, so in this example, this is actually a right leg, and you can see there the femur sitting to the left side of the screen. 
which is uh, lateral and medially you can see pulsating the femoral vessels. You also can see the sciatic nerve sitting pretty prominently in the middle of the screen. You can appreciate the needle approaching this nerve looks like out of plane, which is how I mentioned I usually do do this block. Because I am not, I want to make sure that the nerve is in fact the nerve and not say another structure such as a lymph node, I will use nerve stimulation as I approach the nerve. Once I've confirmed that the structure is in fact the nerve, I will begin to infiltrate local anesthetic around the nerve on either side to ensure that as I do that I'm going to get good spread and a strong block. Once again, the things to ensure that you avoid, you don't want to be hitting femur, you don't want to be traversing femoral vessels, um, and as such, an out-of-plane approach is um, advisable for this block. We do use 30 cc's of local anesthetic. Usually we'll use ropivacaine half percent, however, quarter percent marcaine for our one-shot blocks are frequently used. In this example, you can now see the local anesthetic infiltrating just above and around the nerve and circumferential spread. And once you've achieved this, you will have a strong block. But keep in mind that the sciatic nerve is very large. An onset of local anesthetic to get a strong block can definitely take a good 20 to 30 minutes.